Welcome to the McNeese Public Sector Law Podcast Series. In this video podcast, Attorney Alexandra Sakavage explains further developments in the authorization of interactive gaming or iGaming in Pennsylvania. Ms. Sakavage practices in the public sector, litigation, food and beverage, esports and white collar defense, and internal investigations practice groups at McNeese. Act 42 of 2017 authorized interactive gaming, or iGaming, which permits slot machine licensees to apply for certificates to offer online slots, table, and poker games. An iGaming certificate permits internet and application-based poker and slot style gaming by bettors who are physically located in Pennsylvania, or those who are located in states that enter into an interactive gaming agreement with Pennsylvania. In mid-July, Nine casinos applied for licenses at $10 million each. One applicant applied for the bifurcated license at $4 million each. The Pennsylvania Gaming Control Board has 90 days to approve the license application, and fees are due 60 days after approval. According to the statute, if any of the licenses remain unsold after August 14th, the PGCB could offer them to qualified operators that do not have casino licenses. Seven certificates remain available two slot certificates, two table game certificates, and three peer-to-peer -peer poker certificates. The board recently announced that they will accept petitions from a qualified gaming entity commencing October 15, 2018 through October 31, 2018. A qualified gaming entity, or QGE, may file a petition with the board for an interactive gaming certificate in whatever categories of interactive games are still available. The board has determined that a qualified gaming entity must have attributes of a licensed slot machine licensee and therefore meet criteria that it currently holds a license in good standing issued by a state of the United States or by the Gaming Oversight Authority or jurisdiction of a nation other than the United States, which permits the entity to conduct and operate gaming to include 1. Casino slot and table games including poker and or 2 interactive casino style slot, table, or poker games. Based on the board's determination, this will permit new gaming entities to enter the Pennsylvania market without a native sponsor. These entities must undergo a strict vetting process after completing a rigorous application. For those that wish to enter this jurisdiction, it's imperative to use experienced counsel to ensure the application and licensure process runs smoothly and results in success resulting in a positive return on a significant financial investment. For more on this topic, see the information on the following screen.